Hello, everybody. Welcome to our next Celebrate Wonder Unit. And what, what are you doing, Pastor Meredith? Well, hi, Miss Laurie. Hi, Lot. Well, I'm putting on my tennis shoes. When you called and said uh, it was time to Celebrate Wonder, you said we were going to uh, follow me. And I was like, excellent. So I'm putting on my tennis shoes because I figured you were coming by and I was going to follow you somewhere. Um, no, it, it's really cold. That's, that's not exactly what I meant. I was, I was talking about what we're talking about today. Following Jesus. Oh, following Jesus. That yeah. makes a lot I, more sense. I really don't like the cold. I uh, mean, the Lord's okay with it. Cause he's got, you know, he's got the, the, the lamb's wool and everything that want in the winter but I, I, no, I don't do the cold I understand well hi everybody um welcome to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church and celebrate wonder I'm pastor Meredith our lead pastor and of course we have Miss Laurie our director of children and youth ministries and Laud the lamb and I guess I put on my tennis shoes for nothing at this point but except I guess I can walk over to my wonder table that's probably what's gonna happen yeah. next time huh? now you can join me at the wonder table Okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll walk over to my wonder table and join you there. Okay. See you in a minute. Oh. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our wonder table. Yeah, we're back. We're at the wonder table. And the first thing we do, we light our candle. And we, yeah, you can help. We've got to point it that direction. We light the candle, not the lamb. Yeah, there, there we go. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to wipe today. Okay, so we have our word include. Oh, Pastor Meredith has hers too. You're probably wondering who our special friend is today. Wondering who, mm -hmm. who is that that is there at your wonder table mm -hmm. special today, Miss Laurie and Laud? Um, well, Law was going to go out to the pond and visit his duck friends. And there's some, some folks out there actually fishing. And, and this guy followed him home. It's a fish. <laughs> he says his name is Nemo. So I guess, I guess we found him. I see. He followed him home. I see that fish. That's pretty awesome. Well, yeah. welcome Nemo the fish. We're glad to have you at our wonder table. And, you know, having somebody follow you home. Wow, Laud, that's really helpful. That leads us right into our Bible story. Okay, everybody, we hope that you together with your household will read your Bible story. You can get it out of your Bible. It's Matthew chapter four, verses 18 through 22. And that information is, of course, in your Celebrate Wonder Kit. So you can look it up there. But this is a wonderful Bible story. We find this a story like it in all of the Gospels in the Bible where Jesus calls his first disciples to follow him. And in this story from Matthew, Jesus is walking beside the Sea of Galilee and he looks and he sees Peter and Andrew who are fishing because they're fishermen, they're there by the sea. And he says, come and follow me. And they immediately get up and they leave what they're doing. They're fishing, their boats, all of it. And they follow Jesus and they continue to walk along. And then Jesus sees James and John, the sons of Zebedee. And he says, come follow me. And they leave everything they're doing and they pick up and they follow Jesus. And Jesus says to them something very fun. He says, come follow me and I will make you fish for people. Not fish for fish, which is what they had been doing, but fish for people. Hmm. And off they go. That's a really interesting Bible story, isn't it? It makes me wonder about all kinds of things. What about you, Miss Laurie? Yeah, I got yeah. lots of questions. Lots of questions. Well, I'm going to roll my wonder cube to ask a first question. So if you have your wonder cubes at home, we hope that you'll use these. I'm going to roll mine. And I got, if you could be any character in the Bible story, what character would you be and why? I think, I think it would be interesting to be one of the fishermen. I'm going to pick Andrew. Because I think it would be interesting to be a person who fishes for a living and then who goes and does something else immediately. Why don't you roll, Miss Laurie? What do you get? 
with your wonder cube? I got, I wonder, what would you change about the Bible story? Hmm. I don't know. What would I change? Because I still want them to follow Jesus. I think I would want more information. Oh, I would need a lot more information. <gasps> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I would need more information. I mean, I teach my kids, you know, if somebody, if some stranger comes and says, follow me. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> right. But Jesus, and I guess they were grownups, but still, even as a grown up, if I didn't really know somebody or know what it was. It, I like details. Yeah, I was going to say one of our wonder questions, and you guys have this for your households too, is what would you have done if you had been one of the fishermen and Jesus asked you to follow him? What do you think you would have done? I think I would have said like, like right now, you want me to leave now? Then, you know, then the questions of should I tell my family I'm leaving? Do I need a toothbrush, a backpack, uh, you know, some more clothes? What, 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 yeah, what are we doing? I think I would have done the same thing. I think I would have had a lot of questions like, where are we going? And what do you mean we're going to fish for people? That sounds just strange. I know how to fish for fish, but we're going to fish for people? Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Lots of questions. I'm, I mean, I'm really glad they followed him. Yeah. It, I am not too. really well, but I would have a lot of questions. And I would think that maybe they had some just didn't include it. Yeah. They, we didn't get that part in the story, but we do get as they go along in the story, they do ask Jesus a lot of questions and we know that they learn a lot. Well, maybe we should get ready to watch our Bible story and learn some more. So we have our Bible video coming up, but I think Miss Laurie's going to lead us in a prayer as we head into that. I do. Okay. So pray along with me. Dear God. Dear God. Help me to show your love. Help me to show your love. And to include everyone. And to include everyone. Amen. Amen. Even fish. Even fish. Okay. Let's watch our Bible story. Greetings, it's Carly. In our story today, Jesus is walking along the Galilee Sea. As he is walking, he invites two different sets of brothers to join him on his journey. First, he calls for Peter and Andrew, and then James and John. They were all fishermen who were out working when Jesus arrived. All four of them stop what they are doing and join Jesus when he tells them to come and follow him. These are Jesus' first disciples. A disciple is someone who chooses to follow Jesus and his teachings. When Jesus tells them to come follow him, he says, I will show you how to fish for people. Wait, huh? How do you fish for people? I know you can use worms to catch fish, but how do you fish for people? Maybe you put out pizza or candy or toys? I think what Jesus meant was that he'd teach them how to bring people together with his teachings. Jesus taught about love and community, and he wanted to spread that message. One of my favorite things to do is have my friends over at my house. My mom taught me that one way I can show love is by inviting people who don't have a lot of friends to hang out or play. I found that it's really fun, and it makes them feel included. It also helps us make new friends and learn new things about each other. It's important for everyone to know that there are people who care about them. This is my way of bringing people together and following Jesus' teachings. Jesus told the disciples to go out to different places and build communities so that people could come together and hear his teachings about love. All types of people are invited to follow Jesus. We get to help build a community where everyone is included. So if you want to fish for people, don't use worms. Try showing care and help people feel included. That's what Jesus did, and that's what he invited the disciples to do too. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Hi, 
Hi, everyone. It is instead of a craft time this week, it's more of an activity. Really, it's more like snack, fun snack. So you have your goldfish crackers. Pastor Meredith has hers too, and a bowl, and a napkin, and a little cup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour all of our goldfish crackers into the bowl. Now I always have to eat a goldfish cracker because I just do. So we poured our goldfish into the bowl. I love goldfish crackers. Mm. Mm. Okay. And then, since the disciples were fishing, we're going to do some fishing with our cup because they were using, they just poles, but they were using a lot of nets because you can catch a lot more fish that way. So we're going to, we're going to do that. That time I got, I got five, I got five fishies. Ooh, oh, I got six fishies. I'm very excited. Wow. You did better than I did. I'm going to try, try again. This is. So we reach in and fish. Oh, I only got two that time. Five again. Five must be like my magic fishing cup number. But they weren't really, Jesus wasn't talking about fishing for fish. He was talking about fishing for followers, right? Yeah. What is something that Jesus could have said that would have made you want to follow him? What do you think, Pastor Meredith? Well, that's an interesting question. Well, I think one of the things about Jesus that would, that makes me want to follow him is that he includes everyone, that Jesus loves everyone, and he includes everybody. There's that word again. That makes me want to follow him. I think it would also be exciting to follow Jesus. He was always uh, healing and teaching and having interesting conversations. I think that would be fun. I agree. So those are some fun things that you can think about while you're now maybe eating your fish. Yeah. I, I want to eat some more. So it sounds like you could do this with your household. You could take turns that everybody could go fishing and then say maybe, maybe for each fish, you could tell us a reason that you would follow Jesus. I got to get busy. Totally agree. Yes. Yeah. So enjoy your snack today, guys. Okay, adults, it's time for your spiritual practice this week. And Miss Laurie and Laud and I, I encourage you to use our Celebrate Wonder kit materials. There's a wonderful spiritual practice there for adults. Um, it has you think about uh, a time that you have ever been called to do something, but you didn't really feel ready or equipped or qualified. Has that ever happened to you, Miss Laurie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. But, you know, it's all about what we do with that and how we respond, because there's always a choice to answer a call to do something or to be something or to follow in a new way. And it can be hard to do that, kind of like a rock is hard. So our prayer practice this week is to find a rock. And we can see Laurie and Laud, they have a rock right there. Mm -hmm. I had to go out in my yard and find another rock. Here's my rock. And uh, we invite you to hold it tight and consider where it is that you are being called, where you are being called, and then to say the prayer. So why don't we say the prayer? So consider where it is maybe Jesus is calling us, a new direction in our spiritual lives, maybe in work, maybe with our family. And uh, let's pray this prayer. Pray after me. God who calls us all. God who calls us all. It can be hard to follow you. It can be hard to follow you. Help me remember. Help me remember. I can choose. I can choose. To be included. To be included. In your vision. In your vision. To share your love. To share your love. With the whole world. With the whole world. Amen. Amen. And I invite you to... Find that rock and keep it with you as a way to remember that you can choose and you can be included and you are special and you are loved as well, grown-ups. Right, Laurie? That is right. I need a smaller rock, I think so. Ah, it's a pretty good rock. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us again for Celebrate Wonder. This was awesome. We want to say goodbye and along with his little fish friend that followed him home.
So, no, we're not gonna eat the fish. So, we don't eat our friends. Yes, no, mm -mm. but we do celebrate our friends. And we have a celebration chart right here. Don't forget, make your celebrations, everybody. See what you can check off this week. Don't forget to include everyone, right, Pastor Meredith? Absolutely. You know, our faith word is include. And one of the things we know most about Jesus is that Jesus includes everyone and calls everyone to follow him. So maybe you can make a special effort to include somebody new somehow, maybe in a Zoom call, maybe um, and when you're at school, you know, you don't get close, uh, right up close to person, but you can help include people and make them feel welcome. I think that's a good thing for us to be doing this week. I agree. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, shall we have our special prayer before we head into our singing video today? I think we should. Okay. Well, I'll lead us. Why don't you join with me in saying the special words about following Jesus? And this is in your uh, kit, so you can use this as a household together for this prayer. And just say it after me. Jesus said to come and follow. Jesus said to come and follow. So that is what the disciples did. So that is what the disciples did. I am also am I am sorry, y'all. I am also important and included. I am also important and included. I will follow him. I will follow him. Amen. Amen. All right. It's been a great week. Week seven. Can you believe it? All right. Enjoy your singing. Stick around for a few minutes for our song welcome, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Nothing common about your grace The way you grow such beauty from the dirt It doesn't matter the time or place You're right here with us even when we hurt strength